Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Samrat, and I am a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I prevent a data breach via personal storage buckets on GCP? While this is a complex topic, we will provide a simple explanation of how you can mitigate this risk on GCP using a unique feature called VPC service controls. Most breaches occur either because, one, policies are complex and are easy to misconfigure, or two, clients with broad access to data have been compromised. In this demo, we will show how to create a defense in depth posture, assuming that a client to cloud storage has been compromised. Before we jump into the demo, it's important to understand that there are three network interfaces to a managed public cloud service like Google Cloud Storage. So the three network interfaces are from the internet, from a VPC network using private access, and between resources of cloud services. The, the last network interface is least understood and is generally ignored as part of a security posture. But it is one of the more important network interfaces because it's a very high bandwidth way of moving data outside your control. And in today's demo, we'll cover that. In my demo, we have a source bucket with sensitive data and a publicly writable personal bucket that I created to exfiltrate data. The, to make it obvious, the publicly writable bucket is called the attacker bucket. And the attacker bucket doesn't require any credential to write to it. The client which we are going to use to exfiltrate the data is a VM within a VPC network and has no access to the internet. We will assume for the purposes of this demo that the client has been compromised and therefore it, the shell is being used to exfiltrate data. With this, let's jump to the demo and to the command line of this private VM inside your VPC network. So, as you can see, I've got the commands in my memory, just uh, of the shell memory, just for to make it easy for you to see, right? And this, the VPC SC secure bucket, is the bucket which contains sensitive data, as we see here, right? It has employee PII, which is the sensitive data. I've created an attacker bucket, and even though I have no access to the internet, I do have access to GCS. Therefore, I can access all resources on GCS, like the attacker bucket. Right now, the attacker bucket has no data in it. So how hard is it to exfiltrate this data once I have compromised the client? It's fairly trivial. As we'll see here, I could run a single command like a sync command, right? That effectively copies all data from the source bucket to this attacker bucket. As we can see, the, all the data is copied at very high bandwidth on the cloud backend itself. So now if you look at the attacker bucket, it contains my employee PII in it, and the data has been exfiltrated. So how can I mitigate this risk on Google Cloud Platform? To see that, I'm going to delete the data in the attacker bucket now, and we'll switch over to the console to create a VPC service control service parameter. So how do we do that? So we go to the console. If you have the right privileges at the org level, you can create a new parameter under security and then VPC service controls. All right, so this is where we are. And in there, I'm going to create a new parameter. In the parameter page, I name my parameter. So let's call this the production parameter. And there are two things that I must do in order for the parameter to work. First, I have to decide what are my production projects that I would like to include into the parameter. For that, I'm just going to do a quick search. And this is the VP6 SC compute project has the shell that we were just looking at. So it contains the network of that VM. Uh, the other project that I must protect is the storage where the sensitive data is. Let's say, for example, if I had a big query data set and I wanted to protect that too. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to add these three projects to my parameter. After that, I must define what services do I want to control using this parameter control? And for the purposes of this demo, I actually just need one service, which is the storage service, but I'm just going to select everything. 
and why not, right? I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say this is a highly secure environment and I want to select all the services and make sure those services are protected by VPC service controls. So thus, I have 21 services that I have protected here and I'm gonna save this perimeter. At this point in time, the bucket is no longer accessible from the internet, right? I cannot access the GCS bucket from the internet the important thing to understand is that once I set up this perimeter, the VM no longer has access to the external to the attacker bucket anymore. So let's go back to the command line and repeat that exfiltration attempt that we managed to do so easily. So here's the rsync command that would uh, that had exfiltrated the data before. Let's run it, and as you can see, it has an access denied exception from VPC service controls. Thus, even though my VM is inside a privileged network and it continues to have access, as you can see, to the uh, sensitive data, which I do need for my business purposes, it no longer has access to the attacker bucket right? Um, anymore. And I cannot copy the data to the attacker bucket anymore. right? So for example, if I try to run this rm command, which is actually trying to operate on the attacker bucket, I can no longer operate on the attacker bucket anymore. Thus, uh, VPC service controls uh, provides you uh, with a key feature that allows you to obtain the benefits of using managed public cloud services with the security of a private cloud. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com/security for more content from Google Cloud Experts.